So welcome back friends. Today I'm gonna to show you how to drill small precise holes in tile, ceramic tile, and glass. I thought it might be kind of cool to test out the different types of bits uh, that claim can drill through glass or masonry uh, and see which is best. What's kind of interesting is I sent Mrs. W down to the hardware store to pick up a, a 3 8 masonry bit and this is what she came back with. It's just a standard drill bit um, that the guy claimed would drill through hard surfaces. I don't think so. We'll try that. The next, which is kind of interesting, is just a standard super low budget masonry bit. Uh, there's nothing fancy about them. I think that they've got maybe a hardened carbide tip on the end. The difference between this and masonry is, of course, we can't use the hammer function with the glass, but it would be, I thought it'd be fun to see how well that does compared to these, I ordered these glass dedicated Bosch bits from 8 to 5 sixteenths. I've never used these before. And then finally, the little diamond core bit. And I'll show you a little trick uh, of how to um, center these uh, so that you can drill the hole exactly where you want to there. But let's, uh, let's take a look at our mediums here and then we'll see which one does best. Believe it or not, there is a purpose for today's video. We, we need to go in there after this and uh, mount the, uh, all the hardware into the new bathroom. Uh, the vanity mirror and such, and I, because I walled up to the ceiling, or tiled up to the ceiling, I've got to drill through some tiles, so I want to test it here uh, before we go there and break something. So one thing that we have to have is uh, a lubricant, water, when we're drilling uh, with diamond stones or anything hard like that. So a couple different ways you can do it, of course, is you could submerge this into um, a trough, uh, a little bit of water, that's possible. You can uh, build a dam, uh, so we'll try and we'll see which one works better. This is just plumber's putty. Uh, this is kind of like a um, well, man ver man's version of Play-Doh, right? And you can roll it out, roll them and roll them and throw them in the pan. That's one of the sweet loaf's favorites. Um, so the idea here is, and I haven't done this before, is you build a little dam and you uh, make a seal. Is that sealed right there? And then if we were to fill it full of water, we have our lubrication, right? All right, so let's start off first with the uh, with just the standard, uh, according to the hardware store guy, it'll work bit. Now when drilling something hard like this, just the weight of the, your hands and drill is usually enough. I don't suspect we're gonna have success here. Subway tile is very soft. That is interesting that that standard bit started to go in there, uh, but I, I pushed on it pretty hard for about a minute or so running in the water and it didn't get through. Could you eventually get through it? Yeah, but I don't think you're gonna have a very clean hole. Look at it starting to, to wobble around right there. So let's go next with um, just the low budget masonry bit. And I imagine after drilling that, it's gonna be, uh, or that bit's gonna be shot. Here's a jeweler's trick I learned uh, while researching for this video today. Uh, you take a, a, some bottled water like this uh, and you take a small awl and you come up, oh, I don't know, probably towards the bottom somewhere or towards low, in the lower half. You poke a tiny hole in it and according to the, what I read, if you crack the cap on this, you can see you get a little spray of water. That's pretty clever. Um, Maybe I dig the wrong size hole, there we go. A little spray of water. Okay, let's try the masonry bit now. I'm gonna have water all over my shop here. Oh, not a precise drill bit by any means. It's wanting to wander. Light temperature, or light pressure. Oh yeah, boy that went through there. And I turn off my, I think I'll go with the plumber's tape there. It makes less of a mess. But it does, when you put the cap on, it does well, that, it's, that stops it, definitely stops it. So that went through really well on that soft subway tile. Not too bad on the back side. So I would say that that works, uh, worked good. Problem we had with that, of course, was uh, not really able to get a very good, uh, a good starting point because it doesn't have much of a point on it. Uh, let's go with the uh, glass specific Bosch bits. I'll tell you what, this blister pack packaging I hate this stuff. I understand why they have to do it. These little items like this are, I think that are, there's a big problem with retailers, people stealing it. Um, and so they, 
you know, they put they put it in these blister packs, which are without a knife. I mean, they're almost impossible to get open. I'll tell you what, the I bought a Stanley or a, no, it was a Dewalt, a Dewalt tape measure uh, the other day that was in that blister pack. And I, I kid you not, I'll bet that I was. I mean, it was almost turned into a joke to me. I was starting to like laugh like a crazy person uh, that I wasn't able to to extricate this tape measure, this 25 foot tape measure, out of its blister pack. Uh, my hands were bleeding. Um, I had uh, tore up one of my thumbnails. I, <laughs> had, I practically broke my knife off. I had completely cut the whole thing around it, and then it was still hanging on uh, inside the pocket clip. And I, it was unbelievable. I was telling my dad the same same story, and he he's like, "Then that just happened to me. I had one of those things that it was so hard to get that tape measure out of that blister pack that." Uh, the previous guy or someone at the store tried to do it and it was had broke the clip on the tape measure. <laughs> so so, uh, so we're into this one. Let's try these little, uh, these cute little guys with the points on them. Yeah, so check this out. So this is that little masonry or the little glass specific. Look how steep the point is on that uh, compared to the masonry bit, which is the same principle with that carbide end on it, but it's much flat. This is much flatter. This hopefully having a point on it will start really well. Uh, it might drill a little bit slower, but I think it's going to be a cleaner hole. Let's, I've got the quarter inch size there chucked up, so we'll go with that. Let's make our little, little water dam here. It makes a lot less mess than that other way. Okay, let's go with the Bosch bit here. Sounds different. Oh, very precise. It didn't wander. I feel like if I had a little Sharpie mark on that tile that I could put that point right on there. And yeah, it went right through. That, that actually worked really, really good. And that is a very precise, clean hole. One thing that might be interesting to check is uh, if we put tape on it. Now, what if we did this? What if we, let's say you want to, we, we're going to want super precision, right? When we're doing the towel bars and all that through those tiles, that finish. What if we put a piece of frog tape on there and uh, we made our mark, right? That's exactly where we need to be. How precise can we get with this bit? So we've got that point on there. Okay, you can see now we're into the, definitely into the tile and right on that mark. So that, uh, the tape might help. I might keep, just give it just enough to keep it from wandering uh, too much, but the nice, even right there, you got a nice clean little divot started. That's interesting. That actually works better than I even thought it would. Uh, let's go for the core, I'll show you how to do the core drill. Now the core driller is an altogether different little beast uh, in that it uh, is gonna be, of course, do big holes. This one is, um, what size is that? That's probably three quarters of an inch or so. Uh, it's encrusted with industrial diamonds on the end. You can even see them. You can see the facets and see them glitter right here in these LED lights. Uh, these work really good. This, this is what I use for mounting the, uh, the sink in the new bathroom. Uh, problem is, is that it's hard to start them. You know, it's kind of hard to start them uh, because you've got a huge hole there. What I ended up doing is, is I, I didn't need super precision when I was using this originally, uh, but I focus there. I tipped it up on end, tipped it up on, on end and got it going um, and then enter and then introduce the rest of it. I'll focus, introduce the rest of it into it and it seemed to work pretty good. Uh, let me show you a trick to um, get real precise uh, with your core drilling. Here's the trick for those core bits. So let's take it, we'll take our Sharpie. See, that's where we, we, we need a hole right there. Uh, so what you do is uh, drill yourself a, uh, get yourself a little piece of wood and drill a hole that's just a tiny bit bigger than the bit. Now, I drilled a three quarter inch hole there for you to see. That's gonna be the, the finished size of this hole. So that's not gonna fit because we got that diamond encrusted area on the end that's not gonna allow it to fit through. So I went ahead and drill, drilled the next size up which would be 13 16 So what you can do uh, is you can lay that right over the top like this and pretty much eyeball it here and drill. Now we can drill without water. Is it going to make the bit not work? Uh, no, it's going to probably not last as long, but sometimes you're not going to be able to use water. I mean, if you're drilling on the side of the wall, how are you going to put water on there without making a huge mess? But we can support that with our, our hands. We could even clamp that into place, at least until it gets started.
Okay, there's our core in there. And indeed we have pretty clean, nice hole, even out the back. Not the precision of that, that first one there, or the second one, third, I guess it was. These here are just from where I started it incorrectly, but that's, that's serviceable right there. Now, let's see if it'll cut through a bottle. That's what I'm interested in. For the glass, which should be quite a bit harder than the subway tile, I gave our bits every advantage. I chose a French bottle. It should not put up a lot of, as I'm so fond of saying, resistance. Uh, just a little joke there. If I cr I'll see, how tight can you tighten that? All right, we'll try to drill in horizontally here and see what, see what happens. All right, so after one minute, um, I de definitely did not get through, but, oh, just about, that's kind of interesting. You can see right there that that indeed, it would have went through. It definitely would have went through uh, given enough time. Oh. So that was interesting. It did indeed drill a hole all the way through there. It took a long time. Probably took a couple minutes of, um, uh, and I even had to kind of oscillate the, the drill bit around a little bit to continue to get it to cut. Uh, I felt it come through uh, and I pressed, a, I knew it better, I pressed a little harder than I should have, and then as it ex exited the hole, you can see that it broke out the back of the glass. So I think it could be done, but it just needs to be done very slowly and very carefully. Um, let's try the diamond bit and see what that does. There you have it. You can get a hole in a piece of glass, or at least soft glass like this. I don't know that you're going to be drilling through tempered glass. I've never tried that. I don't know that it's possible. I don't know if it's possible. I guess it couldn't be hard as a diamond. It'd be interesting to try, wouldn't it? But um, it's okay. It was a, a tedious process. It was a little bit, uh, you had to be, have a very soft touch uh, coming out the other side, but it did work. Now over here, we can see, where's our other holes that we drilled? Oh, I don't have my, there we go. Is that focus there? Yeah. Okay, so we can see there on the left, we had our standard masonry bit, which would have went through there, I think, eventually. I don't know what would have happened breaking through on the other side, uh, but I think you could get through in a pinch. Uh, the little Bosch bits, of course, those worked really good. They were e easier to start. I, that was my bad there, pushing through too hard to the other side and breaking it out. I think the same thing would have happened with this had I been ham-fisted, but... Um, a little practice, you get better at that. Here we can see in the tile, uh, the four different, this was the uh, standard regular bit, this was the masonry bit, this was the Bosch, more precise bit, and then the core bit right there. My bad starts on the back side there. We can see, you know, is that maybe a little bit, maybe a little broke out a little bit more there? Maybe not, that might've been on the tile, but acceptable. Any one of those would have worked. All right, so what did we learn? We learned, uh, yeah, indeed, you can cut holes, we can drill through glass, mirrors, bottles, that sort of thing, ceramic tile with these bits. What seemed to work best were these little guys. It's a little nerve wracking working with glass, you know, because it's, you always feel like it's, it's on the verge of breaking, but it can be really tough too. I mean, just go try to break a car window. I mean, you've, I've seen guys throw rocks in them and and on videos and bricks and the thing comes back and hits him in the head, it's uh, stuff is really, really tough. Speaking of breaking in, I'll tell you a final story here. When I was younger, I lived in this apartment. It wasn't an apartment. It, yeah, it was an apartment on top of a building in a downtown urban area. So there was like a, some re retail spaces below me, and then the whole upstairs was this big apartment, and it was like a fishbowl up there, and it was... Uh, that's where I lived. So I had my excavating company at the time, and so I had a, a pickup. I had an old Ford that was a cert with a service body on it, and I had like uh, tools and extension cords and lasers and you know things for my business. And so it was I'd park it down there so I could keep an eye on things. Well, one night it was I think it was a Friday. I had I turned all the lights off at nighttime because it was you could see inside, and so it was a little bit more private that way. I came out of the shower. It was and I was getting ready to go out with some friends, and I had like to put a towel around my waist. And I looked down at my truck, and there was this dude down there, and he's, he's got one of the service boxes open, and he's, and he's pulling extension cords and stuff out, my tools. You know, these tools I need to make a living with. And I didn't know what to do. And I, I had a, 
Mossberg 500 with a pistol grip on it, 12 gauge shotgun that I used to keep by the door. I grabbed that thing and I ran down the stairs and, and I opened the, <clears throat> threw the door open and pulled this thing up on this guy. And, and there I am, in, you know, right in the middle of this downtown area. And, and the, of course, the towel falls down and I can't bend over to pick it up because I, I got this guy covered with this shotgun, right? His eyes are as big as saucers. He's standing there. I'm standing there. He's about maybe 30 feet away, you know, and he's got all the stuff in his hands from my truck. Well, I didn't realize that he had an accomplice that was around behind me that was driving some, this horrible old beater. It was like an old Ford Granada four-door or something. And I just hear this terrible tire screeching. And I see he comes up and slams on the brakes and he's got the rear door, driver's door open, I think is what it was. And I'm looking back at this guy and I'm looking at the guy in the Granada and the guy with the extension cord drops everything and just does like this Superman across the street dives into the back of this Granada and, you know, the tire smoke and, you know, the chaos and the guy, the, both of them take off and they get away, right? <laughs> I'm standing there <laughs> completely dripping wet and naked with a sawed-off shotgun pistol grip. I put my towel back on and go back up, <laughs> upstairs <laughs> and call the, call the cops, of course, you know, so the cops showed up and, you know, they take the statement and, you know, they get the description and I, you know, I re remembered the license plate and, and all of that. It was really funny and, and, uh, yeah, I, I won't say what city this was or what cops said. It's like, it's like, man, if that if that was me, I'd put a couple, I'd put a, I'd put a couple rounds in the back of that Granada, you know, just for, I don't know, maybe it was just joking, but it was, it, it did cross my mind. But you know, if someone's running away from you, uh, you know, you you not you don't want to shoot someone. I mean, not, nothing that you own is more important than someone's life. So, uh, it's, but uh, it was kind of a crazy, crazy moment. Anyway, where were, where were we going with this? We'll go back inside and uh, get going on the um, fit, putting the vanities and we'll do the real drilling in there. This was kind of a nice test so I could see what was what. And good time to click the thumbs up now if you haven't already. And we'll see you guys on the next video.